here's a way to understand it if the first method didn't work. So here's the second method I'd like to show you. And the second method comes with one very, very important, very important uh, word. All you have to remember for this second one, well not all, but foil or foil, you guys might call this region <laughs> of the country. So foil, all right? So what foil represents is F represents first. So what I want you to do is label the first two numbers in each binomial. So when you're kind of reading left to right, you could say, oh, well, that's the first number in this binomial, and that's the first number in that binomial. Does that kind of make sense? Mm -hmm. F and F, okay? The next one is for outer or outside. Um, so for the outer, I would just call it outside. I just like outside better. I don't like outer. Outside are the ones are the two numbers that are on the outside of your binomial. See how those are kind of like the outside? They're like the look, you know, they're on the out, outer edges of your two binomials. So that's why we call these O and O. Justin. Right? Okay. Then I is the inners. So now, those are like the two on the most inside, right? Like the nuclear, right? In the inside. If those are inside, the other two are outside. Then, sorry. So we can say inner or inside. And then L stands for last. Now, why is that so helpful? Well, because guys, rather than doing that surety property, when you have FOIL, all it tells you to do is the same, it's the same exact thing, it's just a different way of doing it. Just multiply the, the first times the first. So this becomes 2x times x. Um, outside becomes 2x times 3. Inside, negative 4 times x. Last, is becomes negative 4 times 3. Then you just simply do the math. 2x times x, 2x squared. Remember you're multiplying, so you got to add the exponents, right? Um, outside, 2x times 3, 6x. Negative 4 times x, just any times a number is touched times a variable, just going to be negative 4x. Negative 4 times 3 is a negative 12. Okay, so now what I can do is that's positive, that's positive, negative, negative. We can just rewrite the answer as 2x squared plus 6x minus 4x minus 12. Notice how I wrote it in standard form, right? Just getting used to always writing it in standard form. Your highest exponent is always first, your constant is going to be last. Then, can I combine these two? Mm -hmm. Yeah. So I get 2x squared minus... Sorry, plus 2x minus 12. And there you go. That's another way to multiply two binomials.